Hello there guys, this is Wiffy142 doing here today I'm going to have a GTA 5 online video for you So today, i got 5 cool tricks for you um, So these are pretty cool and small tricks and tips for you amazing people Alright, uh, so, this is the first one um, And, uh, so what you got to do is go on your phone, go on uh, Merryweather um, Just call them up on your contacts, you know, simple as uh, and just order an airstrike, which is eight thousand um, dollars. And once you've bought it, just uh, as you see, you've got it in your hands. Do not throw it. That's all I say. Um, as you see, just wait for the uh, big giant jet to go past. As you see in the air right now, there he is. We may might be she actually. Oh. I don't know, I feel rude now. Um, but as you see, it's still in my hand. Um, and you can put it away, just like that. You can get a gun out, start shooting people, um, and then get it back out. So that is the trick. You can just keep the flare in your um, gun wheel, um, your weapon wheel. Um, so you can even leave the lobby, join a different one, you still have it. But when you throw it back down, there won't actually be an airstrike, unluckily. The jet won't come again, um, as you see. There you go, throw it. And it, it this looks pretty good. It's pretty good for like a storytelling time. But anyway, next tip and trick. Right, so if you go on story mode and you have uh, a few guns um, or whatever, you can go on any story mode characters. Don't really matter. And you just put them in the order you would like. So as you see, I've got my pistol and then my Thomas gun or whatever it's called, and then that gun, that sniper, that that yeah, fist, yeah. It's don't work on melee weapons, just to say. So just put them in the order you want, and then just go on your phone, go quick save, um, and then quickly save on your recent save, whatever it was, and then save that, blah blah blah. And then once you've saved it, click start, go online, and actually go to an online session. Don't really matter what one you go to. Now every time you come on GTA online. Yes, yes, any session, any time, even if you went off your Xbox and came back on, your character will spawn with these weapons in the gun wheel. So as you see, like, they will spawn, not with these weapons, but like, whatever weapons you have, it'll be in that order. So as you see, I've got my pistol, they're all in the first, you can actually see them, so you don't have to, like, select them all. So this is really cool, just so you don't have to waste time, um, when every time you get on GTA, so you get your actual main weapons out. But anyway, next tip, this is it, you get in a car, you're just driving around, and you just want to stop instantly, you just go down on the hole, down on the D-pad, go on one of the story mode characters, and then when the uh, warning screen comes up, just click B. So, as you see, I'm doing it now, you just, uh, wait for it, about to crash, bang, and then you just do that. Do what I've done, really easy, simple trick. Um, it's not that helpful, but it's pretty cool if you just want to like, have a competition who can get the closest and s not actually hit a wall, maybe, with your friend, I don't know, um, and that's that. Anyway, next one, this is pretty cool, this is new as well, so just go on your phone, call up Merryweather once again, Eminem, <gasps> yes, but anyway, just call up uh, Merryweather and get an airstrike, which is $8,000, and um, as you see, you get the thing out. And this time you throw it and get your RPG or um, fire launcher out, any of them to just aim your gun and uh, your rocket launcher. And as you see, it automatically shoots. You don't even have to touch your controller, your controller, and it just shoots rapidly and weirdly wherever the actual um, airstrike's going. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. You can watch that again. You can try it for yourself, only 8,000. And the bullets that you shot, of course. Um, so you can do it with any of them, RPG or the Firework Launcher, as I said. But anyway, this is the next tip um, and trick. Um, just if this one's for races, like if you're in a race and you're in a car and the race is about to start, you know you get that boost. What you gotta do is basically hold RT and then let go of RT just when Go comes up and then click it again. Yep, that's it. Just hold it, which is R2 for PlayStation, or whatever. And this actually does help a lot. It makes you. It gives you a little bit faster boost, and sometimes when you boost, you boost, stop, and then keep them going, you know what I mean? Not actually, like, literally stop, but slow down a little bit. When you boost, it slows down, and then you start going fast. But this, you just boost, and you just keep the same pace pretty much the whole way through. Um, so, I'll show you that again, that's starting. Um, anyway, as I said, this is um, the last tip and trick. So, I'll show you again. You hold RT, or hold R2. And then when the glow comes up, just when glow comes up, you let go and then quickly hold it back down. And you just start driving. So it's really quick and uh, easy tip to do and you'll probably win a race from it. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.